Good afternoon, you lovely lot. Good morning, depending on where you're watching across the globe. It's lovely to have your company on this very special masterclass. This is a Create a Card masterclass where we're going to go through lots of different ways in which you can use a wide variety of Create a Card dies. Now, talking about Create a Cards, what I would love for you to do is our Craft Choice Awards across on our website. What is going to be your favourite die sets? There's a few for you to choose from across there on the website. Maybe it is your create a card nest and dies maybe it is just your create a card dies however what you can do is if you go onto the website you will find the voting is open where you can click on the link and then you can then uh, have well your say as to what one is your favorite one while you're there you're also going to find up to 70 percent off on a core tool selection of items there in celebration of the craft choice awards that's there on the website as well as something that is only on for today and that is a buy more save more so if you spend 50 you're going to get 10 off and then if you spend 100 you're going to get 20 off so if you are spending uh, 50 to get that 10 off what you need to do in the promo code at the end of checkout you just need to put save 10 and then when it comes to spending 100 or over to get that 20 and over off that just means that you're going to have to put in save 20 in the promo code across on the website now when it comes to that it does exclude any of your May launches however we've got an abundance of collections on this masterclass that you will be able to take advantage of that buy more save more as well as having a look at a selection of items that are on the website on shop the day which is there just highlighting what we've looked at within wake up call now masterclass and then wednesday being this beautiful beginnings now maybe you're uh, used to wednesdays being a little bit different when sheena's here what we have got, I know Debbie will explain in a moment, we do have Debbie here for the whole day with me showing you this incredible masterclass, Debbie. Yes, it's all about credit cards. It yes, does. I love it. Love it, Sheena. We're giving a little well earned deserved break to get creative, actually. So she's not really on a break. She's doing some nice creative work behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, we've got a create a card special using. Um, our creator cards mm -hmm. actually funnily enough they're in the uh, voting category they of are, the yes, uh, absolutely. yeah absolutely because i love creator cards i've talked about it a lot i absolutely love creator cards because of the versatility in the ways that you can use them and we've had many a masterclass uh, using our creator card dies um i'm going to keep it i'm going to say kind of nice and uh, stripped back a little bit for all our newbies as well mm -hmm. because i'm always aware we've got new people joining us all the time um we see that in the comments we know that you're there we, we, see that you, we see that you're there. Uh, so it's nice for you to join in. Uh, but obviously, we're going to concentrate on the, all the things that we've got on. And we have got some amazing creator cards. Um, these are some of the samples from the DT. So they're from the design team, um, not the ones that I'm going to sh share with you throughout right. the show. But we've got the gorgeous, we call them the simple creator cards. We have to take that back because they're not so simple. They're yeah. absolutely beautiful. So you've got some gorgeous um, designs like this. Are we going, are we going in close up? Thank you. Just checking. <laughs> just checking. I know we've had a bit of a break in between, so just just keeping him on his toes. Somebody has been sitting bit. in the sunshine. Well, I had five minutes. Five mm. minutes having a natter with our producer Johnny. I didn't. We did our meeting that. outside. <laughs> 
as we do because it was so it's glorious out there that's why i didn't it's, go outside because i knew if i went out i didn't want to come back in i know and that's the problem didn't want to come back in we've got our ribbon threading dies that are taking um a little nod in this uh, in this creator card special uh, we've got the beautiful colorable creator card i say we have I'm hoping we still have. We've got our colourable creator cards in there. Uh, yeah, we've got the interchangeable scenes. This is one that I did oh, not so wow. long ago back um, during our, uh, one of our creator cards. Uh, but absolutely beautiful, beautiful ways that you can create from book storybooks to like your proper theatre yeah. cards where you've got layer upon layer upon layer. Um, one that caused a bit of titivation down at the Hobby Maker Studios because that's one of my mix that I did down there. I don't know why it's caused some titivation, but it did. Um, did it? Just with the shape of it. I think they were some oh, daft. Oh, would, would Yes, they? well, of course. You don't, the boys down there, you know what they're like. Um, and it might have had something to do with those inner circles there. I think it was Dan. It was, he was, he's absolutely, he's so naughty, that he boy. Is. He really is. Uh, so we've got our lovely, um, and I, I, I'm going to call them the swing, but they're not the swing ones. <laughs> they're not the swing ones at all. They are pop-out, ornate pop-out dies uh, that come under the creator card range. We've also got some great deals on um, some of the most amazing ones that we've done in yeah, our yeah. critic card range and this is another little beauty that could be a box i did something similar but not in this style box i had like a you know a slidey out for candles at the bottom mm -hmm. um on my last critic card special that we did but again some really fabulous ones. i mean look how gorgeous That's that so is cool, isn't it's it? just super cool um and again absolutely fabulous the way that you can use these uh, particular critic cards so we have got a lot lined up for you in the two hours i'm going to try and get through as many of those collections as i can and we all know probably about four or five tops if I'm lucky we'll um, it. but we've got some amazing deals on those uh, particular credit cards uh, so it should be a nice fun filled two hours and uh, lots of goodies galore I've been told yeah. that's all yeah. I've been told well so I'm just about to say so you can't see it on your screen just yet so I've asked the guys in the gallery don't put the details on just yet Debbie have you seen your screen that you can see with the details that I'm away to show Oh, yes. Will we bring them in? Shut right. the front door. Now, this is this show only now, Johnny, isn't it? This show only. Sarah had them. Sarah's not here. I'm here. <laughs> I kicked off a storm and I was like, I want these ones on. £10 or $10. <laughs> While stocks last. They are only for this show or while stocks last. This is your Colour Blend Artist Blend in pencils. This is the full 10 of 24 of your Colour Blend Artist pencils. This one here is the primaries. Now with these ones, £10 or $10. Get away. Exactly. This is a shut the front door, it run is. up the street, start naked. So literally yeah. shout off the rooftops. Oh my god, have you seen the price of these colour blend pencils? Eight pounds exactly. or eight dollars to own the is that the primaries? Mm -hmm. Oh god. Yeah. The best, the best colour blend pencils out there on the market. Artist quality, premium grade um wax in those pencils, all filler oh sorry or filler thriller, thriller, thriller. oh thriller no filler <laughs> pencils i'm flabbergasted can you tell I, I i'm flabbergasted it. the price of those is absolutely crackers um yeah so was these, this a sarah special so these ones are, are oh, on the uh, crafty clear out uh, sarah section across on the website now wow. i did see them sitting outside and there was actually a note on it that said 10 pound when i came in today and i was like where's that from when johnny <laughs> told me and i was like we're having them because these are going to be perfect for some of your actual credit card dies that are on the show certainly the ones oh. with the stamps so that one there color blend artist blend pencils 24 pencils within this one it's all about the primaries 10 pounds 10 dollars or if you are platinum eight pound or eight dollars or if this is your very first purchase with it might be uh, after you join club inspire you get 20 percent off your first order so that means you could get your spectrum noir color blend pencils for eight pound or eight dollars so if that one wasn't just exceptional enough We should 
not be doing this, so much so that I am not taking the flak on this one. Johnny's taking the flak. I'll take the flak on that one. Oh my Johnny's God. Johnny's taking the flak. Let's get the price in. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, right. So can, I am just going to say right now, I had nothing, I am being genuine, I had nothing to do with that. You had nothing to do because, with that. So, so just in case Jenny's watching over there, I had nothing, they didn't tell me about these, Jenny, so I'm not taking this one. Mm -hmm. um, that's incredible. Yeah. That, that, so that, that is normally £30, all but yeah. a penny, every day of the week. Yep. The just works, I've bought that, I've bought that recently, I didn't pay that. No. No, that is there you go. crackers. Yeah, guys, just remember as well, just for this show only, just for this masterclass only, Craft and Carry Workstation is totally Tiffany. You know all about the way that she loves her storage. You know all about the quality of it. You know about the versatility and all throughout the household and beyond when it comes to storage and being able to get organized. You're going to get this one, the full one, pockets, everything like that, the divider, all that you would usually get, the little uh, hook and loop dividers, that's all there all there full workstation it is the black one ten pound or ten dollars you're saving 19.99 or 24 dollars 99 which we sell at so many times over but at that price at eight pound platinum or eight dollars platinum for the full black workstation so that is ten pound ten dollars you can go for that one as well ten pound or ten dollars this show only this master class we are at 11 minutes past two here in the uk this show only you're going to get these both of these ones for ten pound each or ten dollars each so head across on at the website .co.uk.com.eu that's where you need to go you got one get another one if you have got one and you're thinking about a gift get one as a gift get another one for yourself so many of yourself have uh, messaged in in the past and said how much you love them, how many times you've come back for another one. Well, there you go, £8 or $8. You can get another one in a black one, key colour as well, for throughout the house, as I say. Perfect for the he shed, the she shed, the kitchen or the caravan or just wherever you want to use the storage, £10 or £10. But let's have a look. Let's start now with our credit card range. We do have Rachel on the social again for this show. So if there's anything that you want to ask, get in contact with us, whether it's Facebook or YouTube. Colleen's in from Florida. Lisa's in from Minnesota. Deborah's in from Ohio. Paul Print Times 4 is in from South Carolina. Why are you expressions by Candice? And good morning to all the crafty peeps and all the folks at CCTV. Well, good morning to you. Kimberly's in from Florida. Terry Anderson's in from Ohio and Lois is in from Ohio as well saying good morning to us all well good morning to you good afternoon to you but this is masterclass it's all about credit card die ranges that we do so let's have a look at the first one so we can go straight to Debbie and get into our very first demonstration this is the one that you know I said when I launched these ones with Leanne I absolutely love these ones because they're so versatile but the design of them are quite big and open open which are great for paper piecing or colouring inside you've then got your mats and layers for the centre as well so you've got your dainty doodles all of these come with an outline outline die cut line that Debbie will show you or what she did in the first few finished samples she showed you at the start of the show which is enabling you to cut in or cut out one of my favorites I love that one there being the pretty petals we've then got our circular one so we've got our timeless foliage in that one there so you can cut in the nest and die you could leave it solid or it can be in your card blank you've then got your floral fancy and then you've also got the love heart. So you've got the rose garden as well. So that is your simple create a card die selection. It's 25 dies in total. Remember, you've got all the mats and layers to go with them as well for the center. So depending on the actual shape of the center, it might be the circle, it might be the heart, you know, it might be that kind of um, different shape that we've got. I wouldn't, know what, I wouldn't even know what to call that shape. Maybe like a, a scalloped squared point 
something like that. You could call it whatever you want. But you've got all of these as well. So lovely little sets of nesting dies to use as a standalone. £40 or $49. If you are platinum, though, that's going to come down to £32 or $39.20. You could then even start to colour these with some of your colour blend pencils if you've got your hands on those ones. But enough of me going over all of that. So many incredible deals. But I know that we want to have a look at our first demonstration with Debbie with our Create a card masterclass. So before I start, I am going to show you a few samples from our gorgeous Perfect. design team, and of course, um, the the wealth of experience from the craft experts as well, because we have some included in here. Uh, but let's give a little shout out to these. These are absolutely fabulous, and we joke about the word simple. There's nothing simple about these. They're absolutely fabulous, and because the create a card dies, so very versatile. Um, I love that one. Do you know that's just been cut out in white cardstock, added twin inky background, and so it striking. looks absolutely stunning. Um, into your uh, different styles of cards but of course this is the same design but look at the difference by switching up the paper and then what about making that inside just mm -hmm. as beautiful as the outside that's exactly what you can do with these uh, paper pieces and Craig's mentioned that absolutely you're going to be able to do some paper pieces with these as well you can use them as toppers on the front of your card you can keep them really simple really basic but still look how classy that is oh, even yes. in craft card looks absolutely fabulous you already show, uh, saw how that one and that is if I just bring that in <laughs> the same die but two very different looks and this is the thing and this is the beauty about a creator card which for me will always be at the top of my tree when it comes to saying how much I love the, the things that we do at crafters companion mm -hmm. These are always going to top that. Not these in particular, creator cards, although yes. these are some of my favourite dies. Again, the same die set, and look at the two difference there. And I, I look at these and see Christmas tree lights. I'm just yeah, thinking a Christmas, Christmas theme. You use golds and greens and, and your, uh, your reds, they're going to look like Christmas tree lights that are, st are strewn around there. A little bit like a spirograph. So absolutely gorgeous. And then, I can't help it, and I am going to use this because I absolutely adore this one. Um, Oh, it's just divine. Um, look at it. And I will tell you, and I'm going to give a big shout out to Jackie because it is my favourite sample. Um, and I love our design team. I think all of our design team do a wonderful job, but there's just something super striking mm -hmm. about that. And Jackie won't mind me saying, not a lot of, like, like, as in terms of, and this is why we call them the simple creator card super super gorgeousness coming out of that card but not a lot of effort it's the minimum effort maximum impact yeah. that leanne talks about because it's a bit of coloring yeah a bit yeah of coloring right. in there. look how gorgeous that looks it looks as though you know that if you are in a church or outside a church and you're looking at yeah. it you know how they have those oranges and blue colors within the stained glass window depending yeah. on the design absolutely and this is another one of jackie's as well just paper pieced at only certain areas though and i think that looks equally as striking as what she did with the coloured version. So absolutely gorgeous dies, fantastic price, a fantastic price for something that we didn't launch that long no. ago, to be fair. We didn't launch that long ago. Now, Masterclass, we always start simple, so I'm going to start really okay. simple. I'm going to take my very favourite dice out of there. Shouldn't have favourites. They're all my favourites, a bit like the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite child? You're all my favourite child. Favourite eldest daughter, favourite son, favourite youngest daughter. <laughs> That's how I always get around here because I can do that. Uh, but you, you get it, you get what I mean. And they are all beautiful. Every one of our designs are really beautiful. Uh, but there's just something about this one that I absolutely adore. So I have taken a piece of... Um, this is A4 cardstock that I have just chopped down to five and three quarters. And literally scored in half mm -hmm. at five and three quarters as well so it creates a little base that for a six by six card looks absolutely fabulous now i'm going to just use the inner part of the die now this is what i absolutely love about these you've got this lovely stitched frame element so if you wanted to add to like build it up as a topper you would use this piece or a panel piece of paper pattern paper cardstock behind the back there looks beautiful but i am just going to cut stri directly straight into the okay. front of my card with this die now now this die is all the detail and beautiful detail at that but doesn't have an outside cutting edge on the inside so it can remain solid however with the use of these dies not only have you got your perfect mats and layers 
in the three different sizes that we've got to create nice multiple layers as well but you've also got options to cut out your aperture in there mm -hmm. whether you use the large one or whether you're going because you'll just get a larger frame if you're going to take that next size down and you could even go as far as cutting that out as well and having this really nice central stage so you could be adding little flowers or little gems around there as well so it's a really lovely um die set in terms of again versatility and that is why i will always love a creator card because of that versatility i think i'm going to change it up a little bit no keep it as it were debbie keep it as it were don't change it up you'll muck all your plans up uh, so i'm going to come in and i'm going to just open up the card blank and i'm going to sit that into the frame at the central now like i said i could have added a little piece of pattern cardstock behind the back however i'm not I'm going to cut and create an aperture. So I'm going to place the low tack tape over the top and the bottom to hold that into place. And then I'm going to create an aperture as well at the same time. So I'm going to pop that into the centre too. And I'm going to use both. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this in your first attempt, you can always come back and add that in afterwards. So you've got the choices there. So I'm just going to pop that, although I can see I haven't got it on in that centre. So always line it up look at it before you run it through your die cutter machine there we go that's better happy with that i am happier with that she says and do not move going forward all yep. of our <coughs> all of our dies will go through the gemini 2 yes yeah all of them oh, yeah. you know, past and then future ones so if you are looking to maybe invest in something that's launching very very soon <laughs> you know that all the dies that you've already purchased and even purchasing now going forward they're still going to go through the gemini 2 absolutely absolutely um we didn't want you know that's the that's the thing and the thing is that as well the gemini that new gemini it's just an enhanced version it's the same kind of mechanics inside there isn't it, it is. you know, it's the same it's the same power a bit quieter a bit quieter more functions and i say more functions what i mean is more enhancements i just love the usbs um, oh, it's lovely oh my god the usb is great i just plugged it in last night from my ipod uh, my ipod ipad to yeah. I was like, oh, this is so weird. It's just, it. normally I've got wires dangling it's off not, everywhere. And not. I've got a space there for my phone as well. Mm -hmm. I just thought this is absolutely a game changer. Because uh, Debbie, Debbie Fisher contacted me yesterday and she said, what do you think to your new Gemini 2? I'm like, love it. I was like, I'm not really going to say I love it, but I do. Mm -hmm. I've fallen totally head over heels in love with it. So, yeah. Uh, and I was due. I was just saying to, to the guys, because they were like, why do you need another machine? Seven years is how long my other one's mm -hmm. been going. Going strong. Still going strong. Um, and I was talking to you about this before I went to Craig. I'm going to donate it to um, yeah, you a charity. To because there's still lots of legs left in it. It's still a fabulous old faithful machine. It's just it was time for an upgrade for me personally to have uh, the enhancements. Makes my life just that little bit easier. Uh, right. So already lovely nested die coming mm -hmm. out there. Now I'm going to remove that just for a time being, and I'm going to take this off coming this way. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is because it's a very there's a lot. Although we call it simple, there's quite a lot of lot of intricacy to it, and also perfect opportunity for all your paper piecing. However, I did say I'm going to start and keep it nice and simple. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to poke out all these little pieces. But I, I have done the paper piecing before with this, especially this particular die, and I do love it. Uh, but I wanted to keep it nice and simple to start off with. And you couldn't get any more simple no, and could, could easier to do exactly what it says on the tin in the terms of creating a card instantly. Because look at that, cut out instantly. And it creates that beautiful design. That's before I've even started using anything else. even against the back of the white. Oh, honestly. I am going to just add a little bit of colour to the back. Straight away, wow. It just pops, mm -hmm. wow. quite literally. Um, and I'm trying to think, where did I get you from? Sate with flowers. That, that was me. Yeah, it was my sate with flowers one. I popped that in there. Um, so I'm going to just pop that into the back. And again, what I could have done is because i didn't do but i could have done because you've got it um is you have got the outside cutting frame die that would have added the detailed stitch in there as well because there's a beautiful stitch design running through all the outside of that die uh, so pop that in 
And then I'm going to concentrate on the centre bit now because I've created that aperture. Um, I am going to keep all this simple. I could add colour to it if I wanted, but I think the colour paper just makes that pop. And I don't want it to go too busy. Uh, so I'm not going to do any paper piecing on this occasion. However, I've got the other two dies here and I'm going to do a little bit of matting and layering with... Um, so because I've got that one that was going to sit in the centre, I'm going to have patterned paper on that one and white on that one. Okay. And keep it as simple as it possibly could be in terms of... Let's just move that to one side. Sometimes, Debbie, when I do really simple cards, they're my most favourite ones. Yes. They're the ones that I really, You, you really know love. what I'm like, Craig. So for me, this was a little bit out of my comfort zone because is, yeah. I am a throw everything you at are. it kind of a girl. And when I say throw everything, if you follow me and you know what I mean by that, I do <laughs> tend to go a little OTT and no, never know when to stop. What you do, what you do, the way you position it and the way that you frame it or whatever it is that you're using, it works when you do it. I know, but you know what I'm like. Yeah, I know what you're like. <laughs> so I, I thought like. I'm going to keep it because it's called Simple Critical. I thought, do you know what, Debbie? Let's keep it simple. Absolutely, because that's and that's that's like an alien word to me. <laughs> and you create some. I call yours like clean and simple clean designs, and simple. but they're yeah. so beautiful, so so beautiful. And I did say I'm going to take a leaf out of your book and start creating more because um, every time I see some of your work, Craig, it makes my eyes water how beautiful it actually is. And I just think, oh my Thank God, you. why are you not doing something like that, Debbie? <laughs> because it is absolutely yours fabulous are work. Absolutely beautiful. So what this is doing, Craig, is creating that little aperture piece. So I'm going to pop that all together and I'm going to lift it a little bit with um, a foam pad or two. Okay. I think I'm just going to add it though on the layers and keep the back part of it uh, flat. So let's come in with that one. And even that, with that, it's options, isn't it? Because you oh, yeah. could layer all three on foam pads. You could do all of them flat. You could do two foam pads, one flat, you know, what, whatever way that you want Absolutely, to do it. yeah. Um, oh, I do apologise. Um, I'm back to being... You're back. I'm, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I do love Debbie's the with love. Back. I just love back the with down. love. Uh, I think I've only used it... Oh, now then, let me just have a quick peek. I think I've only and just used it the once. It has to make a little, <laughs> a little appearance, because uh, I do love it. <laughs> it's just a fabulous, fabulous sentiment die. And I know I joke about it, but I do use it, as you all know, a lot um, because it's just so it's useful and also Craig it's at the side of me now nice clean craft desk because I had a little on the so tidy? oh yeah on coronation day I decided to uh, watch the coronation and the events unfolding on the back of me and also um, clean the craft room although I did send you a message into do you know you wish you didn't start something yep. and I wish I hadn't started it because it went from being oh, a little cool. job to being a massive job and I was like, what did you do that for, you daft devil? Because, I'll be totally honest, I missed off at coronation. Because <laughs> I was trying to do it while I was trying to focus. And it was only because I got my Gemini 2 that I wanted to rearrange the craft desk. Yeah. So it fitted in there, lovely. Uh, now, I'm going to add, um, do you know what I think I might add? I might add a little bit of acetate around the back as well. Because I could have that on the front, but I could also have it on the inside so that when it opens up, it's got that lovely dimension. And when I lift that up for a second, like a, like a, what do they call it when it goes up? Pir pir uh, pir pirimage. Pirimage, yeah. Is it pirimage when yeah. it goes up? Yeah. yeah, so I could do that as well. However, I am going to add the acetate. You did bring some, Debbie, so let's add the acetate to the back of it. And that's just going to give me a little bit of what I call rigidity, a mm -hmm. um, bit of strength. Um, can I ask a question? I know what you're going to ask. Um, are they back? No. No. Nope. <sighs> Do you know something? I thought I saw you with some. You did. I thought so. On, on, so I was on, as I was saying, I was on Hobby Maker on Friday. Yeah. And, and their producer, Laura, I had for the Friday and the Saturday. I got up on the Saturday morning, because Saturday was a different show I was doing, and I actually got out of the shower. <laughs> And here's a message from her saying, Craig, did you know that the dotty tape pens are on now our show today? I was like, no, they're not. She How was, on earth? She was like, yeah, they are. I was like, no, they're not. And I went and looked. How? And they were on my list. They were on my list, Debbie, my sheet that we get for <gasps> tells what's on. And I never even noticed it. They went like that. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yep. How is that How? possible? What, because I, I, because I was actually launching the die cut 
uh, decoupage toppers. Okay. The photo that I put on my uh, social media, the original photo actually had a dotty tape pen in there and I was going to say back in stock. I was that scared that we'd got it wrong <coughs> that I was going to shout about them being back in stock. We go live and Laura go, oh no, sorry, there was a mistake. We don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we, we did have small quantity, but they went. I'm not surprised. They're like, it's what do they call that set? What does Leanne use that saying? As rare as hen's teeth. What teeth? Hen's teeth. Hen's teeth. Yeah. I thought it were a different saying, uh, but we'll take that one. As rare as hen's teeth. They are. Mm -hmm. At the minute, they are. Uh, now, I'm just adding a few gems into the centre. Because I've got the acetate, I can actually do that. So it's just leaving a, a couple of, in, just in my little florals there. Um, I can believe that, Craig. I can't can believe that. Now, debating, do I keep it on the front or do I go on the inside? Oh, does it, oh, yeah. Choices, yeah. choices. I'm at it again. Either Let me just way. have a little peek. Oh, I don't know. I think I might like it on the outside. Yeah, I think we'll go on outside this time. However, if I was putting my little verse in there, I probably would cut another one into the centre so that you can write your verse on okay. there. Although now I'm looking at it that way, I'm thinking, do I go that way? No, stick with the original, Debbie. Stick with the original. Stop it. I like it all the time, Greg. You Are you spend, the same? Yeah, you spend all that time prepping your demos. Because as we've explained, you know, they, they don't take an hour to do. They can take a while to do. And then we'll come live and then we'll change it up. I am always change changing it up. And, and do I have it tent fold or do I have it opening fold? Well, you know what I think. I love tent fold. Tent. You love your tent. Let's go with a tent just for you, Craig. Uh, so I'm going to pop that in onto there. I think that's not wonky, is it? That looks no, about that right. Looks great. And then I'm just going to add a little teeny weeny little gem just above the eye onto there to bring that out. And there, I did say I was keeping it real. Oh, now then. Bow or not to bow? Not to bow. <laughs> I'm like it all the time. We've kept it stripped back and simple. God, that must be the first time I've done a clean and simple card. Um, but I did say I was going to keep it nice and clean and simple. But do you know what? That it looks beautiful. just as beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about these. You can make them as clean and simple as you want, or you can go to town and do your paper piecing and colour behind the back of your acetate onto there as well, because that would look equally as beautiful. Uh, but absolutely gorgeous gorgeous dies uh, and a great way to kick off the uh, creator card masterclass absolutely thank you very much for that one debbie if you do want to get your hands on that full set 40 pound or 49 dollars if you are platinum that's going to come down to 32 pound or 39 dollars 20. Uh, depending on what you're popping into your basket that will qualify for the buy more save more so if your uh, basket is over 50 then of course you could take advantage of an extra 10 off or if it's 100 you could take advantage of an extra 20 off but you can include that in your basket if you so wish and that's where you're going to get all of them so you're going to get your floral fancy so that was the one that debbie just used a moment ago also one of my favorites Pretty Petals in that one there. That one I tend to do a lot of paper piecing with that one. We've got Dainty Doodles. And there's, I think I've said it before, it's what my granddad used to call me, Doodles. Oh, Yeah, that's what he used to call me, Doodles, yeah. Is that because you were always, like, arty and creative? No, he was just, that was just his nickname for me. Oh. Yeah, in actual fact, Debbie, I, I've never, never got the opportunity before he passed away a couple of years ago to ask why he called me. There's a good question. Let me oh. ask my mum. She bound, she's bound to know, Craig. Well, she's bound well, to know. Now you called me doodles. Oh. Mm. He did a lot of doodling. A lot of doodling. Maybe it's something to do with that. And then you've got time. Oh my God, that's really made me think there on that one. Timeless foliage. You've got all of them ones there. 25 dies in total. You've got these super handy matte and layer dies that go within the middle as well. So you can use them all together, use them separately. Or of course, you can create your apertures two uh, we're going to go on our next one let's just have a wee look to see robbie hedrick on facebook saying the workstation is fantastic i slipped a little piece the length of the front pocket of a magnetic sheet and keep paper clips in it to reach for quickly and easily it holds a lot good tip so i step back there just to bring it out again this show only 10 pound or 10 dollars this is your totally tiffany workstation for this show only sarah and ben had it the other day however i seen it outside uh, with a little note saying 10 pound not that it was that today but i was well that one johnny was like i want that one on the show he's taking the flack for that one and i'm taking the flack 
for that one. I wanted that one on color blend. This one here, 24 of these primaries, also £10, $10. Both of these, though, comes down to a platinum price of £8 or $8. But that is for this masterclass only, this show only. We've got a lot of love continuing, Debbie, for not only that card, but the dress that you've got on today. <laughs> A lot of people saying how lovely that Do you know I've had lots of messages in between? Show us well about that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I love dresses. I, I have got a serious addiction to dresses. That is beautiful. Uh, but thank you. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely colour. It is a... Do you know, I didn't realise it was as colourful as it were until I saw myself on camera. Yeah. Because when you see it in a mirror, you just think, oh, it's a nice colour, that. But I didn't realise just how colourful. And of course, girls... It's got to have a pocket or two. Oh, apparently, yeah, you need pockets. Got to have pockets. You've got to have a pocket um, in your dresses. Yeah, definitely. Thank we've, you for the dress, love. We've got YOU Expressions on YouTube is saying the things you can do with these dies are endless, from elegant shaker cards. The dies are awesome. We've also got Terry Anderson saying, I love that Debbie uses the sentiment a lot. I feel like Debbie oozes love, so it's very fitting that she would make a card for everyone that says, with love. I love that one. That's lovely, really sweet. Lovely comment, Terry. And Sandra Peake on Facebook saying, enjoying watching while on a plane to Florida. <gasps> oh. I just heard in my ear, George go, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not jealous. Where about in Florida you go? Is it Orlando or is it somewhere different in Florida you're going, Sandra? Are you going to the theme parks? Are you visiting anyone? Let us know. Let me know. I want to know. Love Florida. A um, couple of questions about the Gemini 2. What I would say is if you head across onto Facebook and join the Gemini Club, Sarah, and I think there's one from Leanne as well, done a couple of videos answering lots of questions about the Gemini 2. So if there is, is anything that you want to know in anticipation of it launching very, very, very soon here on Crafters TV, head across to join that club and then you'll be able to find all the answers there that you need to know. Right, let's have a look at our pick of the day. This is our Create a Card mystery bag pick of the day. Now, you're going to get this for £30 or $40. Platinum price comes down to £24 or $32. It's for 24 hours only. It's going to come off early tomorrow morning, and you're also going to get double points too. Now, the value for this one is absolutely exceptional because if I show you these two here, these two, both of these each are $16.99. So $16.99 or $19.99 for you guys stateside. If you get them together separately, of or together separately, if you were to buy these both on our website, that would come to $33.98. So that's over your £30. For you guys stateside, it would come to $39.98. So just an extra two cents, you're going to get all of these as well. So you're going to get your create a card die from Colour Your World. So that's got your outline die to go with it. So that's going to cut in or cut out. You've then got from your Roaring Twenties, you've got your create a card within this one here, being the showgirl. You've then also going to be getting, which I believe is around about $16.99 as well, round about that, that is your three-in-one create a card die. So you can use this in three different ways. Use the two dies together to form one way. You can use the peacock on its own, that's the second way. Or you can use the background die on its own, there's your third way. So that is your three-in-one, which is five by seven. And also from the three-in-one range, you've got the dragonfly. So you can use that and use that in the same way as I explained as the peacock. All of that you in the UK are going to get for no additional cost and for you guys stateside it works out two cents more to get all of that one. Absolutely exceptional. As I said there, yes it is the Create a Card Mystery Bag. It is our pick of the day for today for 24 hours only. You're going to get double points on that one too. £30 or $40 or if you are platinum it comes down to £24 or $32 and you are eligible to add that into your basket to take you up to that buy more, save more if you so wish. So that's there on the website. Right, so let's have a look at our interchangeable create a card scene die collection. So within this one here, this one is your 59 dies in total, £53 or $61 for everything I'm showing you. Look at that saving you've got of $66.94 or $76.70. 
if you're platinum, that's then going to come down to £42.40 or $48.80. And you can also take advantage of the buy more, save more when it comes to this collection. Right, these ones here really are your interchangeable scene concept because you can change them. So you've got Country Cottage. Now this one here, you can actually elongate the front of your card because of the two design dies at the top here. But then you've got all of those additional elements. So you've got the ground with the house, you've got the gate, you've got that post box. You've then got one of my favorite wonderful woodland within this one here. So that one there, you've got all that woodland feel when it comes to the stags, the trees, you know, you've got the, could be a dog or it could be a wolf or you've got the bunny there too, that's included. You've then got the, your African savanna. That really does say Lion King to me. Always think of the Lion King when I see that one. You've then got your Fairy Glade. Remember, this is all the same concept where it's your interchangeable scenes. So it's giving you a whole 59 dies in total. Mix and match if you want to, or bring some of the other collections. For instance, this one here being Fairy Tale Forest, that would be really good with your Once Upon a Time. Maybe your glitter card, Shedless Glitter card. And then you're also going to get the Tropical Paradise 2. So that is such a great set of all these dies all the different ways in which you can use them, £53 or $61. If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to £42.40 or $48.80 for all of that one there. It's also on the website. All these are on Shop the Day that you can find really easily across on .co.uk.com or .eu. But I know what you're saying. You're like, well, I want to see these being used, Craig. How do you use them? Well. There's one person I know that's going to show us very, very well. It's not me, it's Debbie. No, no, I love these. I absolutely love them. I remember Corinne, um, when she first joined us, was one of her first launches, these. And when I say green with envy, I was green with envy because they're absolutely fabulous from right up my yeah. street. Because if you think credit card, card dies are versatile, you ain't seen nothing yet till nope. you've had these bad boys in your hand because these are absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you a few samples first before I crack on uh, because I always feel like we never do this enough, especially me. I'm absolutely shocking for it. Uh, bets absolutely two very using the same scenes but just two very different cards there Gosh. because you can absolutely go to town with these I love this one it's been layered upon layered upon layered to create this gorgeous gorgeous scene look at the depth and dimension when you go it's like almost entering the world of a fairy tale with that one absolutely beautiful and then look at this this is completely different same die set but completely different how gorgeous is that? That's incredible. Down to see Jackie. Jackie, she's a lot of hers. I keep getting drawn to Jackie's uh, mix. Yeah. Uh, my absolute personal favourite is the African Savannah. I love this die set. It's absolutely glorious. Uh, for all the reasons Craig said, handsome, um, but really, really so beautiful. Look at this home deco. <laughs> home deco pieces. I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> But absolutely incredible, Louise. And I can see why you love this one, Craig, because it really is absolutely Mufasa. fabulous. <laughs> I love that bit of that film where he goes, do it again, do it again. Mufasa. 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 I love it. Or I laugh in the, do the, do the laugh in the danger of, what does he? Because Zazu's my favourite. Rowan Atkinson, I absolutely oh, love yeah, Zazu. Yeah. And I just absolutely, I love that film. Full stop, love that film. Cry every single time he goes Shocking. over the cliff. Yep. I cry every single time. Mm -hmm. It's brutal, producer Johnny, when I showed it, because my daughter, Tanya, it was at the age where she was very young when that came out, and it gave her nightmares, gave her nightmares. She was terrified that something would happen to her mummy or her daddy. Gosh only knows what the next live action version's going to be like from Disney. Oh my God. I know, but what a great film. But this, this is, it, it, it is Lion King and a die. It is literally, it's just that gorgeous African scene. But I do love that. Do that Mufasa again. Mufasa. <laughs> listen to your afternoon doing that uh, but this is what I love about them we could have given you a die set that was just like that 
in that four by six mm -hmm. but no we've given it you where you can elongate that seam that's what i'm going to do with it or you can interchange between the two and you can build up your layers whether you go elongated or whether you go close together and then the extra little accessories which is this i think this is what does it for me i love um giraffes elephants i'll get it right this time rhino rhino <laughs> called me nipple last time really? uh, <laughs> nipple <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I get my animals wrong course, sometimes. Course. Uh, of course. I mean, that does depict it, doesn't it? I can it almost see him at the top of his pride. And the pride, yeah. Yeah. And then some extra accessories. So absolutely fabulous. And that's what I'm going to do. So I've taken um, some orange textured card and some craft card for my seam. And we're going to come in, first of all, um, I think I'm going to use these two together. See, this is the beauty, Craig. This is the beauty. You can use whatever it is that you want. Now, I am going to elongate it. Normally, I do tend to stick to the like, small shape and then build up the scenes. But I wanted to create a really um, longish piece. And I, I said long. This is four by, I think if I remember rightly, four by seven, what I did. Um, and I'm going to just extend it and kind of do it by eye to start with but if you've noticed I've got my uh, piece on me on me mat Same and I do tend to look at it it gives me a little bit of an indication we're having to get my ruler out and start marking it off gives me a little indication by eye where I can get away with it and um, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to hold that down with some low tack tape so it doesn't move now, lovely detail on these. When I talked about doing some embossing detail, uh, you've got these dies that have got some nice embossed detail as well. Or you can take your inks through them instantly. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to come in, first of all, pop that onto the plate. And we're going to run that through normal combination of your thin metal dies and just run that through. Um, I'm going to repeat the different scene with my craft card and then I'm going to use some ink, but I'm also going to do the extra embossing okay. detail. So when I turn that over, that's die cut through, but what I want to do now is do the embossing detail. So I'm going to literally pop that down, take that off and remove the magnetic shim and then just run that through. And that creates that lovely embossed detail. So it pushes through the die. It won't cut through the shim. I promise you it will not cut through the shim. It just pushes through it's and it bounces. It's like a bounce on the, to, to get that extra bit of embossing mm -hmm. uh, detail, which is, again, well worth doing uh, just, for that, you know, just for that effect. So when I take this off now, oh, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. I've said this many a time before. And what have I gone and done? What have you done? And what have I done, Craig? I have embossed it with the low tack tape on. Oh. And I always say, when you are embossing, remove the tape first. Because I don't want to emboss the tape into the cardstock, no. which is what can happen. And I think I might just get away with it. Oh, Mufasa. Oh. <laughs> Mufasa. I love it. I love that. I can't remember how they do it. That la they're laughing the lie. You can't help yourself, can you? No, you Everyone's can't. singing Lion King. I'm not surprised. You can't help yourself. It's a classic film, isn't it? It's it's one of, one of, one of, one of, I say one of the best Disney movies. It's one of my top three because my very, 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 very favourite is uh, Beauty and the Beast. Is it? Yeah, it's been number one. Oh. Yeah. I although I say that, I absolutely love them all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's so many to choose from, isn't there, Craig? Um, Toy, Story, Toy Story is not Disney, though, is it? A Disney picture. Yeah, it's not really yeah. Disney. Is it, is, it, is it, though, technically? Mm -hmm. well, I, I, know when you see, I know what you mean uh, when, when you think of Disney, you know, you think of uh, old-style Disney. You think of uh, Snow White, uh, yeah. And, yeah, Snow, yeah. Uh, uh, Aristocats, that's another one of my Little favorites. Mermaid. Little, do you know I've never really been bothered? No. I live with me, no. No, it's never no, mine. I've never really been my favourite that. They've just brought that out as a live action movie, haven't they? Oh, so they have, yeah. yeah. Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. So now what I'm doing, Craig, little finger dober. Yeah. Friar Brown. Have they come back yet, by the way, these? I heard rumours they were coming back. God, it's gone like tumbleweed in me here then. Did you hear it? Ah, they are coming. They are coming. Right, okay. They are coming, Craig. I did wonder because we were talking about them not so long back and we were saying they're coming mm -hmm. soon to a cinema near you. <laughs> and then, yeah, <laughs> and here. 
<laughs> so I'm just inking through there um, and it's just to add a little tiny bit of colour. These dyes, especially this particular one, crying out to be in the silhouette form because um, they are lovely when they're done in the silhouette form. Do you know like in your blacks and yeah, things like that, your gorgeous. dark colours? Yeah, it does look really, really lovely. However, I'm just going to lift that off and then you can see now I just need to cut away. So I'm going to bring back in my craft, ru uh, craft ruler, uh, my craft knife and I'm going to remove the two between there to create that elongated scene. So let's just take that. You could take some scissors if you want. This is the time that you wouldn't use a guillotine but you could use your paper trimmers because you can get your blade in where it needs to be. So mm -hmm. you can use a paper trimmer for that part uh, but get your craft knife out. We have tools for a reason and different tools for a reason for different jobs. So I'm just going to remove that and that creates that lovely elongated first scene. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come in again now and we're going to kind of repeat but with the different, different ones this time. I'm going to go with the trees. So let's come in and we'll do it again. We'll elongate it a little bit or I might just actually I might bring it a little bit closer um, just to create uh, a lovely scene. Again, I want these trees to come out a little bit, so I'm going to bring it just a tad closer. Not too, not as elongated as the other one, but not um, not too far apart either. So let's. Never put actually that thought together. about bringing one of the inside layers closer together, as in you know. Having... You'll probably get yeah. You'll probably get a little bit coming down here, but uh -huh. you know there'll be so much focus going off That's on it. the animals and things like that. You're not really going to notice no, it, so no. it, it doesn't really matter for that part. Um, now, if you don't want to do the embossing detail, you don't have to because using the ink almost creates a little bit of a faux kind of emboss. Okay. Um, so I'll show you what I mean by that because I'll just do it this time without using the purple shim. Uh, just quickly to say, our uh, Angela, who we would be lost without when it comes to our design team and that, she's, uh, she's watching on YouTube saying, fun fact, I have never watched The Lion King. She's never watched The... Never watched The our Lion King. Our Angela? Yeah. Our Angela's never watched The Lion King? Mm -hmm. No way, Angela. You need to get that watched. It's a fabulous film. It really is. Um, I can't believe that. That's almost like, do you know when I posted that thing about Greece being down at the hotel? Oh, yeah. They have the open air cinema uh -huh. on the back. Um, I heard people saying they'd never watched Greece. And I'm pretty sure it was somebody up here, i.e., my other half, my TV other half, my other. Put your hand down. Wash your mouth out with soap. Have you not watched Greece? No. Oh, <gasps> Craig. Nope. You haven't either. Nope. Why? It's never took my fancy. Are you kidding? Yeah, I've seen clips of it and I know what the songs are from, but no, I've never seen it. No. No. Nope. I thought everybody had seen Grace. No. Honestly, I'm shocked. Would you... What? What was that in my ear? Is that young? Mind you, James, we're going to let James, James off his young. He's, young. he's, he's only a baby. He's, only, <laughs> he's not really a baby, but, he's, you know, he's only a youngster. He's only a youngster. We'll let him off. Um, I cannot believe... That you've never watched Cre Grease, Craig? No, I've not. Never. No. I need to. I need to get you. Uh, get me I need sorted. to get you a copy. Yeah, I love Grease. Um, don't talk about Grease too, because that people say that that's better than the first. That that's... It's pants. No, it's rubbish. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not. No, no, no. Just don't try. Don't. Try, no. Just leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. You don't need to be doing any of that. Um, no, not for me. Grease too. Uh, but. Because I think Grease 2 had, is it Michelle Pfeiffer? I think or Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah, I could hear George in back, background there. Michelle Pfeiffer, yep, yep. But no, I've never watched Grease 2, never, and that would never, I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to spoil Grease by watching Grease 2, so it's not for me. Good to know. Hmm? Good to know. Yes, if just I stick to the one. Grease, just yeah, stick to the, stick to the one. one. Now, can you see, Craig, even though I haven't done the embossing, you still got that kind of look. Yeah, you do. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can either way. Uh, for me, doing the embossing just brings the, it, more detail to the foreground. And then you can line those up and layer them up over the top so you've got your scenes. And that's when you're going to bring in your forms or you could add uh, pieces yeah. in and add onto your theatre cards. Um, if you have used your inks, just make sure you wash your dyes down in between. Um, and then you'll do all the die cutting with your animals. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my baseline card because... Oh, wait a minute. Just check him. Any ink? No ink. <laughs> just, just check him. Inky card I know one. what I'm like. I get inky cards all the time. Um, so I've gone with a base card, and it's eight by six. This one. 
Um, and I, met, I, I, do it, I do it all the time, I make my own. Um, just to make, well, I think it makes life easier, doesn't it? Although saying that, <laughs> the show's stopper today. I, I was so excited when producer Johnny messaged me yesterday and said, what do you think to those new... I was like, oh, if we've still got some, yes, please. Because they are incredible, those uh, card bases. Uh, so, yes, you've got those as an option. But I do tend to make my own cards um, a lot. And I know you're the same, Craig. We make our own card blanks. Um, I've taken some matte black cardstock because I want a little bit of a contrast between the two um, of my designs here. So, again, I've got four really to be working from now because i'd already done me two um i have actually made a little bit of a cloud scene now there was a do you remember the um it was the cloud template that came with a magazine and i'm trying to think which magazine it was but i absolutely <laughs> I could never do my fluffy clouds. Mm -hmm. And then I, I found that, do you know what I'm doing my clear out? I found it, I was like, ha, that's sitting in there because um, I do like yeah. to create a little bit of a cloud. And that's exactly what I've used there. So it was one of the templates that I've used to create my little fl fluffy clouds. It's got like a scallop at the top, a scallop at the bottom and then fluffy clouds in between. So it's like a mask and a, um, a mask and oh, a stencil at the same time. Yes, it was yes. from one of the magazines, but I just yes. can't remember which, Craig. So sorry. Oh, yeah. But I absolutely loved, loved. When I found I it, I was like, oh, yes, baby. You are sitting at the side of me now in my um, not as good price as it is today. <laughs> <clears throat> Storage. Storage. <laughs> yes, we'll not talk about it because it's a sore point. Mm -hmm. um, although at that price, I might purchase another one. You'd be crazy not to. Uh, absolutely. And it's only... Did you say this show, Johnny? Just this you see, show. See, that's no good for me. That's no good for me, Craig. Uh, Craig, Craig. It's no good for me, that. Um, you know oh. why? Because we're in the show. That doesn't stop me, usually. Does it not? No. What do you mean it doesn't stop you? If there's, if there's something on, on our show that's a crazy price that I really want, whenever the camera or that comes back to Ben or whoever's presenting... You don't. I'll order it, yeah. You don't? Yeah. I wait. I usually wait till oh, the no. end of the show to do it. No. You little devil, you. No, I'll order it. I'm a oh. rebel, me. <laughs> I'll order it. You've got to be a rebel, ain't you? You've got, got to be. A to rebel. be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I've created the background part, and then I'm going to bring in my scenes. And this is when I am going to layer them up. So I've actually made my background scene so that it matches. So you can see straight away, even with the one layer, looks absolutely fab. Um, but I am going to lift it off with a bit of, and I'm going to pinch the circular shaped foam. Just in case. Just in case. You don't say it, do you, Craig? No, I don't say no, it. You'll me never get me saying it again. You're safe with me. I don't sing it either. Yeah. That's it. We know that. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there's a good point. James in the gallery. He won't know about this song. Oh, J little James doesn't mm. know about the song. Right, James. We'll give you a little warning. So this is called Foam on a Roll. Now Ben. Now Ben, in his wisdom, decided. Well, it were Ben, weren't it? It was Ben. He made a song yeah. up um, that went. Shall we say viral within mm -hmm. the world of CTV? Well, yeah. yeah, we'll call it viral. Mm -hmm. So it goes like this. We're going to give you a one-off only. Well, you Anybody are. who doesn't like the song, shut your ears off. James, this is for you only. You ready? Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Hey, now that's how Ben did it. Mm -hmm. But do you know when you hear it a thousand times, James? Little little nod to the wise. No. No, no. And there is another version going round, but Michelle doesn't like that version because it's to the Muppet song and she hates the Muppet song. So we don't sing that one either. No. Uh, but yes, so James, that was a little 101, very quick, on foam on a roll, which is why we'll go circular shaped foam. Yes. Just in front of Ben. Because, uh, well, not just and, Ben. And the fish. Debbie Fisher as well. Oh, she's shocking. She's a pain in the bum for that. <laughs> An absolute pain in the bum for singing that song. Oh, yeah. Driving and James, nuts. you're in for a treat when you hear Debbie singing. We'll just leave it there, shall we, Craig? Shall we just leave it there? <laughs> <laughs> she loves an old sing song, doesn't well, she? She but, does. Uh, she's, uh, yes. We'll just leave it there. James, ask her to sing it for you next time she's in. James, it's the most annoying, <laughs> irritating, <laughs> pain in the backside of a song. <laughs> You're not a lover, Craig, are you? Nope. <laughs> um, and, and I'll know that there's a few of our viewers. Some of our viewers, a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Craig there is no it. in between with it. Uh, so, James, what did you think to the song? Be honest. Come on, be honest. Shocking. Exactly. Isn't it? <laughs> 
Um, don't say that in front of Ben. No, um, please do. Yeah, don't, no, don't say, don't say that in front of Ben at all. Oh my God, I've got that excited. They're I'll all singing in the comments. Just as well, I can't hear you all because I'd be muting you all. <laughs> kind of, kind of, it's what Rachel does when the VT comes on with Debbie Fisher singing that song. Oh, she between. loves singing that song. Yeah. Debs, Debs loves to sing that song. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, mm. yeah. I'd never mention it in front of her. I don't know about you, Craig. Do you? No, but she'll still do it to wind me up. <laughs> she'll still do it to wind me up. You gotta love her. You've got. Oh, you do. Gotta love her. <laughs> She'll still be in holiday mode, won't she? Although she, I know she's been back to hobby maker. And I but, miss the um, shows. I miss the shows. I wanted to see her because I bet she's got a fabulous suntan. I bet her tan looks amazing. Oh, well, I remember because my daughter did it and she travelled for six months altogether. And when she came back, oh, my God, I didn't recognise her. And Debbie tans really well. She does, anyway, yeah. From what I remember. Yeah, she does. I tan after a few days. I, I kind of go a bit pinky ready. And then, yeah, and then, and then it goes nice and brown. <laughs> But it's like lovely my having Scottish a sunshine, milk bottle, I just burn. <laughs> right, we are building up our scene. So you can see, even at that stage, looks lovely. But what I'm going to do is just add the scene and I'm going to place it over the top. Little tip that you can do. There's some giggling going off now. Little tip up, you can add a little bit of the red, red glue over at uh, red glue all-purpose glue over the top of your foam to uh, give you that little bit of transition time but can you see already how I that's love starting that, to look in together and then all you're going to do is and i will spend a bit of time but i've got a couple more demos that i want to try and get in so i can speed this process up um run your dies through now i ran mine through in white colored cardstock but again that silhouette version would look lovely please remember though there are beautiful elements of embossing so it's well worth doing the embossing with the purple shim because it'll bring out the spots of the giraffe and also as well and I will just tell you when I did mine um, I used it over the top so I did it in white colour cardstock then I used a, um, a tan colour to create the colour base colour and then I used the dye to run the ink over so that I got my lovely spots that came through and I'll just poke that through um, so that I've created a realistic giraffe and the same with my um, lion I did the same used a bit of uh, alcohol first and then through the dye again I took a pen this time and drew through it so I got my pen through okay. there um, I've added a little tree as well got my little elephant or effluent as my little orange used to call oh, it oh, oh. and then my rhino um, absolutely love it although he got a bit of a red back because I had a bit of an inky finger in my craft room so but I thought it quite suited him so I've kept it on there I thought there's no point going back over it yeah. they, you know these mistakes happen uh, but let's start to build up a scene so I'm going to put this in the background because I want to draw the attention to the front but make that look as though it's sat in the background um, so again this is what you can be doing with yours um, but I'm going to just add come off you don't want you on there you know what I'm thinking this this specific set would be good for as well, Debbie. I think when I was la like funny enough, in last in Florida and went to the Animal Kingdom. So first because I'd lucky enough to be in Florida a couple of times over my lifetime. Oh. But that last time I was there, it was the first time I've been to Animal Kingdom. And what a great way for your memories. Memory oh, books yeah. or the scrapbook pages. I, absolutely. Honestly, do you know, it's one of my dreams to, to do something like this. Um, I'm just going to position them before I actually start sticking them down, though, Craig, because I get a little bit like that. I like to make sure that I've got... Is that um, what you tend to do with yeah, embellishment before I start pop, like that? Yeah, before I start popping my scene in there. But you could add as many as you want. I think I'm going to go... No, you can come, yeah, you come out a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to put some foam pads on, though, just a couple of little ones, because we have got different size foam pads as well. We do have the little mini ones that we complain about always having in here, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they do come in handy. This is what I they say. They do come in handy. Never discard your really small no. traditional 5x5 five five mil foam pads. Yeah. They, this sort of thing. It's exactly what they come in for, and that's why we have um, those choices there, so that they fit onto uh, your small pieces as well and give you that nice lift of course i could use my favorite glue in the world mm -hmm. um but i think i've left it so i'm, I'm gonna just i'm gonna stay as it is I'm gonna and use i know with foam pads. pads yeah we see it and i do it as well you can cut down your larger ones but then what's the point of doing that with your larger ones when you've already got some of the small ones already cut for you exactly exactly so i'm gonna come in and just pop a couple more i think i might keep me oh no i'm gonna lift him as well let's lift the elephant but yeah, this is what I tend to do. I tend to uh, place 
um, them around the card before I actually stick them down. Um, so yeah, it's just something you get used to, isn't it, Craig? And, mm -hmm. and also as well, you might not like it straight away. No. So it's always worth doing that part of it. So again, I'm just going to peel off now. So I think I'm definitely going to have my giraffe in uh, the foreground. I said the foreground, but it's going to just sit. I love the giraffe. Such a graceful creature. Oh, beautiful already, even with a one. Um, I, I, I love that. I'm not supposed to have favourites, but it's again, I'm always drawn to the African savannah first. And then it's the tropical one, because I love the tropical, tropical one as well. Um, and then, I'm not going to lie, I love the fairy one as well. I think that's just, be, I think they're all gorgeous. See, mine's just between the stag and this one. Yeah, it's yeah. just, I think it's because I want to go on safari. Yeah. So when I look at it, I think, yeah, one day, one day, Debbie, you will. You will. Yeah, you will do. I'm, I'm hoping I will. Actually, I'm going to tuck him there. There, he's going to go behind there. And then I'm going to have... You'll maybe see George there. George? All the monkeys that are there. George. Our George. In the gallery. My gorgeous George? No. Uh, gorgeous George, gorgeous George of the in joystick. In the gallery. Why is he going to Africa? Is it what? <laughs> oh, it's a cheeky... <laughs> I'm thinking, what? Because I thought we were getting married somewhere uh, else, but uh, I, I, we had this discussion last week. Um, but yeah. Um... <laughs> that went down like a lead balloon, didn't it? <laughs> Do you know, we're going to add happy birthday to this, but now I'm looking at it thinking, I don't want to add anything to it, Craig. This is the sort of card, Debbie, that doesn't yeah. need a sentiment. Yeah, I just, think. I'm just thinking now, I've got myself my happy birthday here, and I'm looking at it thinking, do I really want to add that? I might just hold it up first, because uh -huh. I've already put it through my iron machine. Um, no, you're staying no. off. I'm not. I'm not adding it. This is I could one of my do. In fact, I might cards. add it and pop a little bit at the top, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it because um, I just adore, adore this scene. Mm -hmm. uh, I will add my sentiment on afterwards, and I may add a gem or two. Actually, no, I'm not gonna add no gems to that because I think it's lovely um, as it is. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous um, set of creator card dies, and it's the it's the interchangeable way that you can use them and mm -hmm. create your scenes. And just by elongating and then bringing the others in closer, that foreground there is more pro prominent, but the back background looks equally as lovely including right at the very back um, all the little extra pieces as well it's just a glorious die set and I know if you haven't got this today might be the day look at the price that you can exactly. see on the screen it's a fabulous look at the saving it's incredible, it's incredible saving. saving for a gorgeous gorgeous collection that is giving you as a crafter as that crafter who wants to craft and get versatile it's giving you that versatility so for me this is a big yes when it comes to and this is why they're there right at the very top for me and i will i will put my neck out Critter cards are my very first top of that tree um, when more. it comes to the, the the dies that we do here and these for me have been one of the best that we've ever brought and still remain to this day one of the best. But that price is the best I've ever seen it at. I've never seen it that low. Get yourself a bargain while you can. Uh, and I feel, I feel really bad that I don't even use these anywhere near as much as I should do because seeing what Debbie's done and the way that you can actually use themes really is so many different ways. Uh, getting busy for this one, so we're going to take a little break just in a moment, but let's have a quick recap as to the full set because it's not just the set that Debbie was using there, the African Savannah. You're going to get all of these. Remember, these all work in the exact same way as what Debbie showed you a moment ago. It's just the shape. It is that layer out that's slightly different so this one here you can then have the trees on one side and then the tree branches on another side or have them the way they are that's up to you but then you've got the animals here nothing's stopping you from using some of the african savannah animals in with the trees there or that background within that oval have a little bit of a play but then you've also got your country cottage so again, all that same concept, but then you can have that seasonal if you want to as well by changing the colour. Lovely one. Okay, at, you know, Christmas time, that could then be the snow on the house, you could have snow on the post box. You might not use the butterflies, but then at least you're able to use them all throughout the year. There's the fairy glade, the one that Debbie was saying that she also loves too. With the fairies, if you've got a really, really old collection from Nature Garden, Fairy Garden, you'll be able to use bits up from that one. You've then got fairy tale forest, perfect for your once upon a time, or just go in with your pinks and your purples. Then you've also got your tropical paradise. 
not something we see a lot when it comes to tropical elements. So that's a lovely set that you've got there. So you've got some that are going to fit your rectangles, your five by seven. You've got some that are going to fit your five by fives because they're squares. You've got your circles, you've got your ovals. So you've got a lovely selection of different shaped interchangeable scene creator card dies within this full bundle. All of that, everything there, you are going to be getting £53 or $61. That saving is absolutely phenomenal where you're saving $66.94 or you're saving $76.70 for you guys stateside. Even better though, if you're Club Inspire, that then comes down to £42.40 or for you guys stateside, $48.80. For you all across Central Europe, you just need to go to .eu. All your details and prices will be there for you to check out. It is all on shop the day. But if you do want to take advantage of that, buy more, save more, you can absolutely do that. When it comes to that set there, you're just going to have to add a few things over to take you over that £50 or $50. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a moment. Debbie's going to take a drink and you can find out all about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble? Or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should we should we come in? Should we come? <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? She looks. <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I walk you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special? 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part. 
and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Creative Blessings on YouTube is saying, just got back to Canada from the UK and visiting the CC Evesham store. What a great experience to see me and be treated to yummy lunch in their tea room. Thank you, Rachel, Sam and Judy. Oh, it's nice when we hear that you're able to uh, venture across and visit our stores. Lovely store. I know Debbie was just there. It was just the other week. It you was, there, yeah. In, didn't yeah, you? it was the other weekend. Yeah, I went down on a Saturday. So, um, yeah, and I had a lovely jacket potato with the most amazing filling that I would never have put together myself. And I can't remember. It's like a it was like a chicken with a mustard and it. Oh, Craig, it was just it was divine. I didn't sample a cake. I was very good, but the coffee is amazing <laughs> nice as well. Coffee. So it's just a shame. It's just a shame that she was. I could have, could, could have met. Yeah. Could have met. It would have been lovely. But they are fabulous there, Rachel and the whole team. Um, they're a credit to the company. They really are. They're absolutely fabulous. They and are. you know, I've got a, a very soft spot for our stores, mm -hmm, Chesterfield, you obviously, do where I came from. Um, so a soft spot for them. So I'm glad you had a lovely time. I'm glad the girls looked after you. Absolutely, really. You know, can't reiterate any more what Debbie's just said there. We've got Cathy Lear on Facebook. Yeah, the, the Gnome Collection, they came with a couple of cloud background stencils to work with the embossing folder, if you want to use that one. We've got uh, Tracy on YouTube saying, Hello, lovely crafters. I've just come back from my puppy's second injection and a very difficult doctor's appointment. But Debbie, it's lovely to see you and you have put a smile on my face. I have missed you. Oh, I'm sorry you're going through a little bit of a difficult yeah, time. Yeah, what a lovely message. What's the lady's so name again? Tracy. Tracy. Tracy sending lots of big crafty hugs. And I mean that, genuinely. And uh, I hope um, things improve for you, whatever that be. And I'm glad we've been able to... I'm glad we've been able to put that little smile on your face. That's, um, that's really heartwarming to hear. Uh, but we are sending you, as a crafting community, mm -hmm, lots of love to you, Tracy, um, and hope, whatever it is that you're facing. Um, your face with that smile on your face and that lovely positive positive outlook because that's a lovely message to send in. Really nice, yeah. really nice. And actually, I think it is the same, Tracy, it's saying, Debbie, the next time I plan a trip to see my dad in South Africa, I'll let you know and you can come. <gasps> my dad is a maintenance manager in a safari park lodge. I would love to show you the safari. Yes, please. I'd love, oh yes, please, if that could happen. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be one off the bucket list, absolutely. Oh my God, I've got to make that happen. Got to make that happen, Craig. Oh, I would agree. You need to do that. You need to do that for sure. We've got Rhonda saying, love, love, love the tropical paradise. We've got uh, Jeannie on YouTube is saying, what a great show. I'm glad you're enjoying it. We'll go straight back to Debbie just in a second or two. We've got EVB is saying, Craig, when you said Debbie's going to take a drink, I thought of shots. That's what ran through my head. Must be a reflection of my work and week. Well, that's usually what I refer to when I have a little alcoholic beverage. But yeah, it was her cherry Pepsi that she does love to use and drink. Uh, right, Teal, before we do have a look at our next crate of card dies, you have got, so many of you are going in your droves and getting this one here. Now this is your Totally Tiffany workstation. It's gonna sell out, it's for this show only, 10 pound. 10 pound or 10 dollars we've got a small amount left so you need to get in there quick so it's 10 pound or 10 dollars but if you're platinum you're going to get this for eight pound eight pound or eight dollars you're not seeing the screen wrong there's not a typo this is one that was left over from sarah and i say actually left over it wasn't technically left over but john had seen it but still had a few so he took the decision to add this one onto this show only craft and carry workstation it is the black one it's the full lot that you'll have known and loved from what you've seen before but you're going to get it for this show only ten pound or ten dollars you're saving just under twenty pound or just under twenty 
$25. But if you are platinum, that comes down to £8 or $8. So if you are watching live, you've just got around 40 minutes to go. Although that is if that stock is going to last till then. So keep that one in mind. And there is also colour blends there as well, £10 or $10. They're colour blend pencils. So it's uh, ribbon thread and dies. Here we go. This is what we're going to look at now. This is our credit card ribbon thread and die selection. 10 dies in total, £25 or $29. If you are platinum, you're going to be £20 or $23.20. That's for your, your diagonal lace. You're also then going to be getting your elaborate lace. Now these all cut in, but they've got an outside cutting edge to release it from your card. You've got your board, board bold florals. We'll get there. You're then going to get your baroque swirls. And then you're going to get the charming lace. All of these, so you've got your five decorative dies and five outline dies, £25 or $29. If you are platinum, that's going to take you down to £20 or $23.20. And you can pop that into your basket and take advantage of the buy more, save more when it comes to that collection there, where if you spend 50, you're going to get 10 off. And if you spend 100, you're going to get 20 off. You just need to put save 10 or save 20, depending on the value in that promo code on the website. But while we've just looked at these ones, let's do a demonstration with Debbie to show us how these are used. Yeah, and again, another lovely, versatile set um, of dies because um, not only did it create the card with it and lots of different styles of cards, gift boxes, you can take this into your scrapbook pages if you want to as well, if you want to add a little bit of detail, dimension and detail behind the back of your photos. There's tons of ways that you can use it, but of course... <sighs> I mean, I know what I'm like with ribbon. I know what Craig's like mm -hmm. with ribbon. I know what many of you like with ribbon. We store it, we hoard it. I can't help myself, I love ribbon. And I've got beyond way too many boxes. In fact, sometimes when Tasha said to me, have you got ribbon for our Safi's hair? I'm like, <laughs> have I got ribbon? What is it that you want? Paw prints, Union Jacks, lace, vintage lace, straightforward, thick, thin, chunky, wired, what is it? If you want? I've got it because I love ribbon. Um, and these dies are perfect for all your ribbon um, for you to use. But of course, they are creator cards, so you can use mm -hmm. them just as a beautiful backdrop and a beautiful piece once you've cut it out. Now, the lovely thing about this is the multiple ways that you can use the ribbon as well. And we do give you three ways. Three ways, this is not that's not all it is because you can then and you can enhance and you can four or five okay. different ways that you can use ribbons as well so we give you how the suggestions to how use this pretty florals where you can go straight up and down you can go diagonal across or you can have both going down and across which is what I'm going to do in a second the die itself comes in two pieces so you've got your full frame, which, and I have cut it out so that you can see, it cuts out a beautiful detailed piece, which again, looks absolutely beautiful as a backdrop, even without any mm -hmm, ribbon in does. there. That is just a gorgeous piece that you could stencil through as well, or chop into if you wanted to, uh, but absolutely gorgeous. You can see the florals quite clear in that design. Uh, however, I wanted to use it to create, a, I'm actually gonna make a little, what I call a gift box and a card combined oh. so i'm going to show you how we're going to do this one so i've taken just this piece because that is going to sit into the center now i've already measured my box and i've used centura pearl and it's the mint a gorgeous mint one so i'm not using the outer frame because i want to be able to cut in and that's the beauty of having the detailed part along with the outside frame it gives you that option again to do different things with it now the actual measurement of the box if i just tell you is eight and a half by ten uh, sorry eight and a quarter by ten it's the full use of the A4 card and I've gone an inch uh, deep all the way around and this just being in my lid I've done the base and okay. I'll show you that in a second uh, but I'm going to just pop that on and we're going to die cut through this so I'm going to place that and I'm going to hold it down top and bottom and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine I can still get this through my Gemini Junior plate even though it's bigger um, my actual dimension of the card I can still get that through there uh, because as we all know the sensors won't pick this up it's card and that applies to um, oh Debbie you can't 
<laughs> because you've got bigger flaps than you can get in your machine. So let me just right. transfer onto my big plates. The die itself can can go through both. Okay. So let me just grab these, Craig, just for a second. Yeah, go for it. Just, just to say as well, yes. Rhonda is saying on YouTube, if you don't have the Craft and Carry workstation, uh, get it and yeah. get more than one. I have four and can't craft without mine anymore. Yeah. They're fabulous because they store all sorts from yep. tape pens to brushes to rulers to paper pads to your exactly, plates. Yeah. They store all sorts of different things. You just, well, it's like customising something. You customise yeah, it to true. your needs, to your crafting needs, to your storage needs. Um, and that's that's the beauty of all the Tiffany products that we do here at Crafters. Um, it gives you um, that storage solution absolutely each and every single time. Now, I'm going to remove that and then I've got myself a couple of ribbons as well. And I've chosen, again, I chose my papers first, um, not the uh, other way around. It makes it a lot easier again to do this. So I'm just, and again, if you are like me and you've got lots of ribbons, matching the colour isn't that hard. Um, so I'm just going to lift that off for a second. And now that's cut through. So I'm just going to reinforce my um, score lines back okay. again. So it's why I don't really bother until after I've done the, the uh, die cutting. I put them in, but I don't reinforce them until we come to um, actually running it through that die cutting machine so that you can get them in because it's a waste of time otherwise you just you're just doing the job twice and there's no point doing the job twice no it's not is there no it's just a waste of your time so i've just popped those in there now i'm going to do the threading so i'm just going to make sure i've got rid of all of those even in that mint cardstock it looks absolutely beautiful um but i've got myself a couple of ribbons and i've gone with a, a green and a pink and the reason being is because the paper that i used very old one craig do you remember the contemporary ones that we had? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've used, I've used some of that. So I thought I'll choose my ribbons around the colour theme. So greens and pinks perfectly uh, match there. But of course, now you've got options in how you can do this. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go across. So I've got my tape. Now, I've chosen my ribbon. I've got my tape. I always pop a little bit of tape just around the edge to make it a little bit easier. Um, as you all know, I've mentioned it many a time, I just singe the end normally when I'm at home, but we can't do that in a TV studio because no. we can't have naked flames in a TV studio. So um, I can do it at home. <laughs> Actually, we could have done that. We could set the sprinklers off, then we'd have had to go outside because we'd have set a fire drill off. Uh, we could have had a little five, ten thinking. minute interlude outside in the sunshine. Why didn't I think of that, producer Johnny? Why didn't I think I. Oh, yeah, and then the fire brigade! We could have had the boys in blue of the fire brigade type coming in. Oh, yes, that would have been. Nice. If we're not on air later on, you know what's happened? Yeah, that, that would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sabotating the temperature so even cool more. Down. Let's uh, let's yeah, it's already hot in here. We're not gonna we're not gonna get it any hotter than it already is. Uh, now um, I've used a, a small ribbon for this one, but you can absolutely use thick. If you use a thicker one, it'll just cinch it together, but you've got a lot of room for a, a nice size ribbon in here very comfortably. Uh, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of tape to hold it down. So that's one way you can use it. So again, I'm just gonna pop go in like so across where's my little snippers let me find those and then you've got the other options because we could go um across we can go up and down so that's just one way mm -hmm. we can take the other ribbon and i will do i'll bring the pink and i'm going to come down and do uh, this side as well so i put a little tape yeah to put some tape on there so again take your ribbon and i'm gonna that's it just through there and then, oh it slipped out. It's slipping away. It's slipping away. There we go. Yeah. And we'll come in and out of this one and go up and down and thread it through. So you've got, and, and that's the lovely thing. Look at all the spaces that that's you've got so in here. so much choice. There's such a lot of choice in this, Craig. There really is. And that's why I love these uh, particular dies. And the fact that from Creator Card range, so again, it's that, it's that versatility that it gives you. So I'm just going to pull that thread through. I think I'm going to make life easy for myself. I'm going to stick it down first, so I'm not going to lose my end, so to speak. Um, let's pop a bit of tape just onto there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, wow. again. Every single time. Every, Every single time. Every time it's happened to you. Uh, it is. Every single time, Craig. I'm pretty sure they do out on purpose, you know. I think they do. Who was in last? Corin. We'll blame Corin. We'll blame Corin. 
got to blame someone, haven't we? We can't blame Debs because she bet she hasn't been up here for ages. We can't blame Jan because she's not been up here for ages. Although Jan is back at the weekend. We can blame I believe. Ben. I think I... Was Michelle in at the weekend? Blame mm. Michelle. Blame Michelle. it would be fine. We're friends. Oh, Lily Monday. We'll blame Lily. Who else was in? Corrine. Well, I'll blame Ben because I think he was doing a bit of crafting yesterday. Who, who, was, doing so, who was doing some crafting? Ben. Get away with you. Well, apparently got you. a star yesterday. Uh, wait a minute. What day was yesterday? Uh, Tuesday. Uh, and he put a star? Yeah, he done a demo. So he's put himself a star because he got demo of the show? Yeah. Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> I thought that was a weekly thing. I thought that was a weekly board. And then monthly board. Well, I day. Yeah. What is he like? Do you know? Look at Craig's face. <laughs> Who awarded him the star? <laughs> we can check the comments after. <laughs> He's not going to be happy with you, Craig. When are you working with him? Friday. He'll demand a recount and he'll put it back. Tune up. Yeah, exactly, producer oh, Johnny. Apparently, it's a, it's a star for effort. Ah, oh. for effort. Get him in. Get you in the box. Do that again. Do that again. Put him in the box. So star for effort. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta give him it because he doesn't normally craft, does he? That's I bet that's because got... Corinne were here. Because <laughs> Corinne. I'll put it I back, bet, but that's only because you've Did they switch places? Sorry? They must have switched places. I think they must have, yeah. I was going to say, unless he did the crafting over the other side, because that's what he normally does with Jan, he crafts along the other they side. I swap. <laughs> I am putting it back, but that's only till oh. Friday. I'll take it off. <laughs> You're going to have words with him. I am. I thought you would. We all make effort here. We do, yes. Oh, yeah, I get that now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I make an effort on the presenting side. I don't get, like, a presenter star. <laughs> I don't get a star <laughs> dress room like he does. Oh, dear. Oh, God love him. I haven't seen him for ages. I think, I think I'm back with it. Oh, mind you, no. I thought, I was, oh, no. No, you've got you tomorrow, haven't I? You have got me again yeah, tomorrow, cause normally, sorry. Cause, yeah, we've got a cartload, haven't we, tomorrow? Wait a minute, is this it Thursday tomorrow? It is, isn't it, yeah. Oh, I've got a new launch tomorrow. Do we? We have, yes. So we do. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that I've been focused on today's shows. That right I know, now. yeah, I think that's what it is. We just do a day at a time, mm -hmm. don't we, up here? We, we completely forget sometimes. But, uh, yeah, we've got a launch, we've got a cartload. Have we got you, Johnny? Have we got you, uh, George, in the background? Well, Charlotte's in Charlotte's tomorrow. back tomorrow. She's got to what? She's got a what? George is filming oh, a wedding. Uh-huh. Who's filming your wedding, George, in October? Oh my God, he's not found anybody. Oh bless you. Our George is, our, jo our gorgeous George of the joystick is getting married in October. He is, isn't he? And he's got no one to film his wedding. Any offers, anybody? Oh. <laughs> Poor little love. Surely you'd have contacts. Of course, you've got, you're bound to have got contacts, surely. You have got contacts, George. Oh, That's, could, yeah. did you hear that, Craig? Touché. Did, 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 did you hear that? Yeah, he doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to spend the money when he can do it himself. <laughs> yeah, just stick a drone in the sky. Oh, you know, it'll be... It, it, whatever you get to film it, it'll be fabulous. Just don't be critical on George. You know, you know, I know it's your big day, but, you know, you just enjoy the day. You need to switch off. That's what you need to do. You switch off. He so won't. no getting He'll involved in the artistic vows. license of it all. He'll be seeing his vows looking at the corner I go and <laughs> that camera facing the right way. You're getting the right shot there. It's the mic on. <laughs> That's the only problem, isn't it, when you do when you <laughs> when you do, do your job, you you, you, you do, do think that, don't you? You do. You do do that. <laughs> do do do. We're at it again, do do. Goodness Charlotte's me. Charlotte's not even here. Is it, is it Charlotte saying that? Yeah, Charlotte's got some. Just you can't help it, it's just the way it is. Subtle, you in your ear. Do-do. Do-do. 
Now, I'm not going to finish all of this off, Craig, because as you can see, ribbon threading is lovely, but it can be a little... Well, I say time consuming. I don't mean that really, because you can. I've been busy chatting um, and messing about, haven't I, really, to be honest. But um, you can find because i know a lot of people find this very therapeutic yeah, and i'm is. using two different colors uh, so to speak in this one but um you absolutely don't have to you can stick to one color theme you can stick to one way of doing it um i've just made life difficult myself because i'm going and doing the whole lot so i'm going across as well as down and there's still all those options now i'm going to bring the finished one in so that you can see the finished one and I have taped a little bit of tape. I use red liner tape on the back of this one. Mm -hmm. um, and I've popped some red liner tape on because this is going to be a gift box that is going to sit onto the front of a card base as well. Okay. Which sounds okay. bizarre. However, go with me. Go with me I'm on this well, one. Well, I trust you. Now, before I do, I'm going to frame it. So, and this is when, again, I talked about... So, depending on the size of your box. Now, when it's folded in, and I'll just give you the measurement because um, when it's folded in with that inch, it comes to um, about just shy of seven. It's about six and three quarters um, by five and a quarter. Um, and then, again, cut your frame. So I always go a quarter of an inch. But then to get that piece in the centre, I used the outside frame. It came into its own and created me the perfect aperture. So it sits into there nice and neatly. And I think I talked about that this morning on uh, Wake Up Call. So I'm going to come in now and I'm going to add this little bit of a frame. I, I honestly, I love the colour choices that you've gone for within this one here. Well, do you know, I don't know about yourself, Craig, but I've got that many papers. Yeah. I've got to start using them. I think I mentioned this last time. I've got to start using them. I can't just keep, they can't just keep sitting there gathering. And I say gathering dust, but I'm not using them because I keep thinking, no, they're too nice. I'll use it for my best. I'll use it for my best. I mean, what planet am I on when I think I'm going to do anything for best? I do everything for work. So I've got to start using them. They've got to be used. Uh, right. So I'm going to just pop this together. Together. Now, because it's a box, I've often said this, I do use red liner tape with my boxes. Um, it's just a personal choice. You can, of course, use our double strength, double sided adhesive uh, tape pen. You could use your wet glue. So I know Debbie uses tacky glue when she's forming her boxes as well. And I know Leanne does. Uh, so you can absolutely do that um, if you wish. It's just a, it's a personal choice, as always. What do you use on your boxes, Craig? Wet glue. You use wet glue? Yeah. Do you pick yeah. them or do you just... No, no, hold I it just, until I just it hold grabs. It for a few seconds until yeah. it grabs, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. your tacky glue is your better option for that. Your wet glue, as in your wet, wet glue. Wet, 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 wet glue. Um, <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. I love that love song. So. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can use the wet glue, but the wet glue takes a little bit longer to, uh, to hold onto. So that's my box lid. I've got my box base here, and you're probably thinking, God, that's a lot of red liner tape, Debbie. However, this is going to sit, this box is going to sit on a card. Okay. So I am going to take all my red liner tape off. Just while you're saying that, so Shadaya said, Craig, you have to tell the story correctly. Corin and me Lord Ben swapped places. He was the demonstrator and she was the presenter. Aww. That's fair enough, but why did he get a star? <laughs> fair enough if he got demo of the day. Well, that, no, because you don't even get it for demo of the day. You don't get a star for demo of the day. It's a demo of the, of the week day. thing on a demo yeah. of the month. We don't do a day. We don't so do a day star. If he won demo of the day and then won demo of the week, absolutely he's deserving of a star. <laughs> but just for demo of the day, no. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> Let's see, uh, what are you like? I'm tuning in Friday morning. I'm tuning in for wake-up call. Uh, I want to <laughs> see what you said. Uh, no, he's put it back on, producer Till Johnny. Friday. He has put it back on there. Yes, he has. So uh, Now, that is my box that's going to now sit. So I'm going to pop that together. Um, I'm going to add a couple of little things to it, but I've brought in a card base. So my card base actually measures just a tad fraction bigger than my box. Um, so I'll give you the measurements for this one. So it's the full length of a A4 card that's been folded in half, and I've just chopped it down to seven and a half inches. I've popped a little bit of the mat, so the same colour, so it literally sits, it's going to sit onto there. Okay. Um, and I've decorated my inside as well. So I've used some of the matching paper, as you can see with my box, so it all ties in. It's like doing two birds with one stone, uh -huh. this because you've got your gift box attached to
after your birthday card or your, your, you know, your thank you card, whatever it is that you want to do, I've gone with a birthday uh, sentiment and use one of our nesting dies to create my little centerpiece. Um, so that's all done because this is now going to sit in the centre like so. So I'm going to take off my tape now because I got a little bit carried away earlier and started taking it off and realised I was going to end up a sticky mess. So we're not doing it. We're going to go the right way. Uh, let me come in. And then we're going to now pop that and I'm just going to add a little bit of what I call my extra wiggle time because even though it's super strong, I need a bit of wiggle movement to get it positioned into my card base. So I'm going to pop on there some wet glue and that just gives me the, do you know the slip slide kind yeah. of gain it into place uh, option. Uh, and then I'm going to come in now and attach it to the bottom. And because I've got that little bit of extra time and to make, a, to make life easy for yourself, take your lid off and then just eyeball it and then get that into place. So I'm happy with where that is. And then I'm gonna do what we normally do, that you would do, create that um, adhesion by just popping my fingers into there. Of course, I could decorate the inside of the box if I wanted. Um, I've realized, Debbie, you daft devil, you've not decorated the side of your box with the cardstock. So That's normally great. I would do this while it was in a flat mode because it makes it a little bit easier. But because silly old me has forgotten to do that stage, we're now going to have to do it the awkward stage. Um, I don't like to make life difficult for myself, Craig. I really do sometimes. Well, you're just showing the other ways that you can decorate of it. Of course, you can decorate it like this. Um, I've got myself a couple of little tags, because in, in those pads, I found that there was the die cutter sheets in the back with little tags on. I'm like, good grief, why have I not been using this pad? About them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. About two, two years ago. Something but yeah, like but, and, and to be fair, at the moment, have we got many paper pads? <laughs> In, I was just going to say, have we got many left? Um, I think we might have got some plaids, I think. Yeah, I think we've got plaid. Um, I've probably got some Mediterranean dreams, maybe? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Well, hold that thought, because we might not have. Um, but yes, so that's going to sit there now, and it's all decorated. I feel better now. I feel better now. It's all, you can see the gift box idea and the oh, card. Beautiful. And then I'm going to come in and add, because I did mention that I'd got those. Um, I'm bringing some of the matching ribbon and I've just given that a little tie. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick those down onto there. So a um, little gift tag there. So I'm going to go one, two, little Katie corner. Of course, I could have added, you know, some... Um, foam pads on there to lift them but I'm happy with this and I'm just going to pop a bit of glue just on to add my bow into there and then just finishing off now then gem gem gems either pink or green mm. choices 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 let's have a little nosy what have I got in here let's He's have a look happy I took that star off at home you took that what eh? I'm not happy that I took that star off at home at home <laughs> oh, at home the home home where did well, the home, home come from Home. <laughs> You're not happy that I took the star off the wall. You're not happy you've took the star off the wall? No, the viewers happy? aren't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> home? Where did home come from? <laughs> Were you thinking of getting home, Craig? I wasn't, actually. I no. think that's what you might have been thinking of, going home. Maybe. Yeah, it could, could be. Could be. Let me just bring in, and I'm going to just add a couple just onto there as well. I do love my gems. I think we've often said this, Craig. Me and Craig, big hunky dunky. We do, fan. don't we? Oh my God, I love their gems. Slight addiction. I have to stop buying them. I've got to stop. Stop! Uh, now, what you can see is two birds, one stone, beautiful creator card. Because what I've actually done is created the box to put my Prezi That's in. Brilliant. Pop that in, and I would have lined the inside, but I've lost me uh, extra sheets, so I don't know what I've done with it. And then I've actually got a birthday card attached together. So you're killing your two birds with one stone and using the gorgeous creator Genius. card ribbon dies at the same time. Genius. There you go. Absolutely love that one. Love that one. You can do that with any of the five sets that you are getting. Ten dies in total, where you're going to get all of these ones. So you're going to get the charming lace. You're going to get the diagonal lace. You've then got your elaborate lace. You've then got your bold florals. 
and then you're also going to get your baroque swirls as well so all five sets of these ones it gives you 10 dies in total because they each come with an outline cut and edge 25 pound or 29 dollars if you are platinum that comes down to 20 pound or 23 dollars 20. you can take advantage of the buy more save more promotion that we've got just for today across on the website when it comes to that bundle there Another thing that we're going to have a look at from our craft clear out, Sarah's craft clear out, this was the Grande goodie bag. So we've got what is inside here. And I've not had a proper look, but there is quite a lot. £40 or $50. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to £32 or $40. But you're going to get all of this. So you're going to be getting your pre-made little gift bags. All you need to do is fold them together and assemble them. All the score lines are done for you. You've even got some of your tags there at the back. So you've got a full pack there, 180 GSM, 72 sheets. Then from our 3-in-1 create a card die range, you're going to get the balloons. So similar to, well, from the original same set as to what I showed you earlier within the pick of the day, this is one that's going to complement it, 3-in-1 create a card die then you're also going to be getting your beautiful bird cage create a card die these dies are huge that's included as well then you're also going to get your raise your glass so that is your four die sets within this one here so this one is actually have the champagne glasses that it could be suspending in the middle with a little bit of thread or something like that and you've got two sentiment dies as well that are separate You've then got your Timeless Birdcage from the Wisteria collection. That's in there. Gosh, I'm still good. There's loads in here. You've got your Art Deco frame. So that's your cut and emboss folder from Sarah's signature Art Deco frame. That's in there. You've then got your Showgirl Create a Card die. Two dies there, the detail as well as the outline. You've then got your Happy Birthday Sentiment Stampin' dies. I love this set. I like using these ones quite a lot. So you've got Happy Birthday. Then talking about sentiments, you've got If the Shoe Fits, really quirky sentiments that you've got there, such as Life is Short by Shoe, Celebrating Style, Friends are Always in Fashion, as well as another few within that set there. Then from our Gemini Mini Die range, you've got your little plants within that one. We are then also going to be giving you your elegant lace. So this is from Vintage Butterfly. I cannot believe how much is in this bag. There's so much in this bag here. That's included. We're then also giving you a full pack, four pack of your Spectrum Noir Water Misters. You're also going to get your four pack of your tweezers. And then you're also, last but by no means least, Cottage Garden Tri Blend Brush Markers. Three pens there, nine colors in total. All of that you're going to be getting for £40 or $50. If you are platinum, that comes down to £32 or $40. That is there. How we have any of that left over, I do not know, but there is still some. So we popped that on this show for you to get your hands on. It is on the website in Sarah's Craft Clear Out section. So go across there, have a look, pop that one into your basket as well. Whether it's all for you, whether you're going to be divvying it out for your gifts or maybe just for charity, you're going to be able to do that but that's an exceptional exceptional buy across on our website and then from another create a card die range this one is our colorable create a card die stamp and die range six pieces that you've got six sets in this set but then you're going to get 49 elements so within these ones here you're going to be getting your sweet roses so you've got the stamp you've got the die that cuts in or cuts out and then of course you can use the actual stamp on its own you've got three sentiments two of which come with their own outline die You've got the birdies there for thinking of you. Another three different sentiments to them with dyes. You'll be able to mix and match your dyes as well, sentiment dyes if you want to. You've got your butterfly, this one also being the stamp and the die. And then you've got, which Debbie done a gorgeous demonstration within Wake Up Call earlier on with your dragonfly. So you're going to get all of them ones here 
all four sets that you're going to be getting with uh, 49 elements in total, £46 or $53. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to £36.80 or $42.40 for all of those uh, create a card, colourable create a card stamp and dies that we've got. So I'll show you some finished samples for inspiration. Debbie's going to show you them now. Yeah, and again, a lovely versatile set of stamps and dies. Hybrid collection, really, this, when you think about credit cards. And then a colouring um, stamp, which is just bring the two together and you've got something really fantastic, fabulousness, um, and even more so with that fantastic price that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, and so many different ways. So I've, I've chosen as many as I could to show you all the different versatile ways in which you can use these. Um, and they are beautiful. With your papers, they can act as a topper. Uh, you could heat emboss them. This is a beautiful one that's being done, that's being heat embossed and a different style of card, one of those lovely cube cards. But then it's being layered with some acetate. So it's being coloured underneath. Uh, and then you've got some uh, lovely vellum sorry not acetate that's been stamped onto there and then colored as well so that looks lovely you can take them into the form of a gift box as well so i i love i've done a few myself like this uh, where i've done it and to create a beautiful beautiful gift box the coloring element is the bit that you're going to absolutely really enjoy they're super super easy to use uh, and then all the different styles so you've got two different styles here in terms of a, uh, a center stepper and it cuts through so it creates that cutout element to create that card um, a theatre style card or a diorama card, style card you could be using as well um, and you could set that back you could chop little individual items and then set them back and, and have a nice little uh, two three way different feel to that as well um, the butterfly always going to be one of my favorites I absolutely love that that's being used as a topper on there that one's being used as a shaker card this one very cleverly being designed and I know Craig loves doing this as well as much as I do, create a little background mm -hmm. paper and then just using and snipping away the frame to create that beautiful piece, which again, I think is just showing you different ways that you can use them. You can go from your little dinky cutaway creator cards to your really large inky ones as well. Two from the same set, but look at the difference between those. Um, again, really phenomenal and shows that versatility. And then of course, you've got the lovely birds there. Those two Cute. little large as little love birds. Uh, and again, used in a, a diorama kind of a style card. Loads of ways that you can use them. Lots of colouring fun, so anybody of any age can get involved with those. Um, from your little tots to your holder tots to your literally anybody mm -hmm. from a uh, any kind of colouring skill set because you can use any of your colouring mediums. You can use your colour blend pencils at that ridiculous oh, price if there's any left. Um, or you could take them into your alcohol colours or you could take them into your water uh, based mediums as well. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with these, a heck of a lot of fun. Um, but I can tell you that price that you see on the screen for all of what you're getting. All the sentiments, all the dies, all the stamps that can be used together or independently, I think is a really good crafty buy today, especially that purple box price. So, yeah, an absolute must of any crafter's stash because yeah, they're fabulous. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Really, really are. Another one as well that is a crafty stash is what we're waiting to show you just next. But before we show this one, we're going to do a demo of the show and we're going to see the beautiful demonstrations that Debbie has done within the show where you can then be voting for your favourite. Well, I'm keeping it nice and easy today, Craig, because I've been a trio, a trio, trio in the You Wake Up Call and now a trio in the Bath. It's going to be hard to choose. Um, Hey ho, it makes it nice and easy to vote. Uh, so we have got number one, a very simple creator card using those simple creator cards. Uh, literally to cut out the front base of a card and I've just added that middle section. I've added me, me sentiment now, I thought I'm mm -hmm. going to have to add it. Um, but I've put it on the top rather than there. Oh, yeah. So number two, that beautiful African savannah scene. Absolutely love that one. Uh, and then number three, me two for the price of one, me gift box along with a uh, card as well because I thought why not why not kill two birds with one stone using those fabulous ribbon threading dies so that is number three so it's three it's two or it's one you decide I'm going for two 
see, I've got, I've, yeah, I love, I love number two. I like, I like them all, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I love, I love my number two. But I, I do love, I do love that idea as well. And I will tell you, a great idea that uh, one of the design team members gave me. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to incorporate that. that into masterclass. Uh, so three, two, one, you vote. Mufasa. <laughs> right, let's have a look at our show stopper before we get to the end of the show. Now, these ones here, these launched yesterday with Corin and Ben, and this is where you're going to be getting all the shape concept card blanks. You're going to be getting the matte and layer templates as well. You're going to be getting the toppers. You're going to be getting the glue. You're going to be getting the foam pads. But when it comes to the card blanks, these are the ones that you are getting. All of these ones. You're going to get a full pack of them. It's just not one card blank that you're going to be getting. It is a full pack. You've got your stepper rocker card that enables it to actually rock. So I'll go through these fairly quickly because I know Debbie's got some finished samples to show you. You've then got your double stepper. Remember, you've got the card blank, all of which are scored for you and where needed. They've all been cut for you as well, depending on the actual card blank. So you've then got your try shutter You've then also got your zigzag cascade. So that one there enables you to create that one. And you do get all of your card blanks too that you can see here. You're then also going to be getting your double diamond fan fold card, which is enabling you to create that one there. And then from the last one of the card blanks, the bases, you're going to get your stepper card as well. So all the card blanks plus the matte and layer templates that enable you to create that. But then what you're going to get to decorate these ones here is you're going to get a full pad, two pads in actual fact, of decoupage, die cut decoupage. Now you've got one which is called Everyday Celebrations. This is from Everyday Celebrations. And you can make, I think it's off, off the top of my head, maybe it's about six of each individual decoupage image. So you've got quite a few sheets of each one. So you've got the teddy bears with the teapot as well as the hot air balloon and then you've got the little boat. That's from your everyday celebrations but you're also going to get fancy florals and it's exactly that. It's all about the florals, all the fancy florals that you can find from sunflowers to roses and then you've also got your additional florals as well. So you've got reds, you've got pinks, you've got lilacs, you've got some purples and mints all in there. But then what you're also going to be getting is two of your Collal all-purpose glue. So you're going to get two of those ones and then you're going to get a full pack of your 3D foam pads. So you're getting a full pack and an individual pack as well. So all of that plus all these shapes, all the card blanks, all the templates, you're going to be getting for £80 or $110. If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to £64 or $88. So that's what you're going to get, but let's have a look and see what you can create when it comes to the card blanks. Is this so there. I mean, they're loads. really, really lovely uh, card bases. But I love, I love that we've brought in the templates to do, do all the mm -hmm. mats and the layers. Great idea. Because it's nice to do the card. And that normally when you go out and you buy them, you think, oh, that's great, but how am I going to do mats and layers? How am I going to measure those? So I love that we've thought about that. I say we. I always say we. The team that, you know, they craft because that's exactly what they do they craft they think like a crafter mm -hmm. they make they're ma made by crafters for crafters that's exactly what that motto is and that's that thinking there that the team have done is why just give you the card blank why not give you all the accessories yeah. to to do all the decoration with as well and i must admit i've got a little soft spot for the rocker i just love the rocker card um, absolutely fabulous and whether you're going to use the toppers that you're getting in the showstopper or whether you're going to just i mean look at it so like a little smart. boat isn't it absolutely love these and again even though that's the base um what's um Alison's done with this is she's added one of the nesting dies into the centre so it creates a completely different look. So well done. Absolutely well executed that one, just beautiful. Um, and again, lots of those toppers are just absolutely fabulous, but three different designs with the same, with the same, I mean it's just absolutely, it's incredible, I love it and I just think that's absolutely fabulous. 
apologies there I don't think I've got that one right way let me get that there there you go but absolutely incredible where you can literally change the look of the card with the things that you're using um, that particular one is from the tea you know the garden party that's the garden box party one again from your toppers to the toppers I absolutely love these whichever way you're going to look at these they're absolutely fabulous and then one of the most difficult ones that you would in a month of Sundays scratch your head trying to work out the mats and layers you don't have to because it's all been done for you with those card blacks I absolutely love these Craig I'm not gonna lie um, they're fantastic they really are fantastic uh, and a lovely price to get all of that all of the toppers Ooh, as well so price. you literally have got all your cards good to go done. ready to go done and dusted and then literally get your money back and tenfold because when oh, you gosh, start yeah. charging those concept cards those different star cards that's the people that's the ones that people look at and think how on earth different. did you do it um yeah i'll have one of those thank you very much but yeah you could be charging a premium price tag to it as well when you're making them to sell so yeah love them absolutely love them Thank you, Crafty Angie, Charlotte Everett, Christine, Caroline, we've got Brenda, Teresa, Tracy, Lynn, Shadaya, Laurie, uh, Terry. Thank you all for sending in your comments too. Don't you worry, the star is staying there until Friday and then we'll have a little chat with Ben on Friday. Joking, joking. Um, I, I like what, uh, just quickly before we have a look, um, where was it? Tracy on YouTube. Craig, the viewers have said he deserves a star. Let's face it, he's not going to win for the year. He did a very nice card. <laughs> I like that, it made me chuckle. He did do a very, don't get me wrong, he'd done a fab card. He was absolutely awesome at what he'd done. Really, really smart, and he should be proud of it. Right, let's have a look one last chance here. You've probably got a few minutes to get your hand on this because it's for this show only, and that is our Craft & Carry workstation. Now, Sarah did have that in a craft clear out at the start of the week, but Johnny decided that he was going to take the flak and put this on for this show only. This one here is the black one, £10 or $10. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to £8 or $8 for your full, totally Tiffany black workstation. It's the Craft & Carry that you might already have one you have maybe gone for a number of these ones like so many you have said crafty angie has then bought quite a few of them and then we've also got who was it that had bought someone had bought six of them there we'll find it in a minute but yeah bought six of them so get stocked up when it comes to these ones here they are going to end within uh, by the end of the show or just after the show this deal's going to come off 10 pound or 10 dollars for your black craft and carry workstation eight pound or eight dollars and then we've got a result but let's just quickly show you the last one this one was my pick here that i am taking uh, full responsibility on also left over from sarah's at craft clearance this one here is our color blend pencils 10 pound ten dollars you can get your hands on these ones full pack 24 piece it is your primary sets ten pound ten dollars if you are platinum that comes down to eight pound or eight dollars so get in quick for that one and the workstation because they're going to come off the website in the next few moments 3p a pencil Bonkers. for a premium quality artist grade quality wax pencil go and have a look at the prices mm -hmm. of single mm -hmm. pencils um, in the world of the art and genuinely you will not pick one up no. for 33p i can promise you that is a fantastic Brilliant, deal i'm it? glad you've gone rogue <laughs> although i'm just going Great to one. say <laughs> full disclosure that's nothing <laughs> to do, do with you. it nothing to do with it whatsoever um the guys have done those deals yeah and i think they're fabulous that one especially although i'm saying that the workstation for me is i am definitely I've got a minute, a, have a, a minute or two left. Um, we're definitely going to get another yeah. one of those because they are a real safe uh, storage space saver. They really, really are. Right, demo of the show. Well, it wasn't number three. Oh! This one was close. Really? The winner, actually, 
I'll do it that way because I don't want to confuse anyone. The winner, it goes to number two. <laughs> number <laughs> we, one was we very said, close. We? we thought we had a feeling because they, they're just, uh, it's a glorious die set and it's a fabulous price to get all of them, not just one of them. Uh, so number two, there, there you, you go. go. So that's going to go up against, well, Debbie herself for demo of the day later on in Beautiful Beginnings. Thank you so much, Rachel. That is her off now for the day. She's away to take the wee baby for a little walk in the sunshine. Well, enjoy your walk, Rachel. Thank you so much. We will see you all again live in a couple of hours' time for Wednesday's edition of Beautiful Beginnings. We'll see you then.